What's up, folks? Today we're running GARP yet again. I'm gonna—I swear to goodness—I'm gonna make GARP godly before the, before this OP2 season's over. I'm gonna make GARP godly. I I want to use cards that nobody else wants to use, leaders, and make things work right. And I think GARP is where it's at for me. So I'm putting out the chopper here. Uh, I should have used chopper to block, but now I gotta run Nico Robin. See, like that's why I always use my blockers early. And I think this game I was let me try something different. And I shouldn't have tried something different. I should have done what I usually do. Um, try and use my blockers as quickly as possible because if they drop something like Vista or like Ezo from the green or anything like that, like let it go. So for some reason, he just let me have it. He didn't even use, I, I was like, bet, I'll take it. He should have used Nico Robin to take out uh, Chopper and then swung in like he's doing here. But I guess he was trying to bait for Borsellino, but whatever. I'm glad he gave me the chance to use Chopper because I made a mistake and he just let me have it. So at this point in time, I'm like, all right, I need Garp to swing into, um, was it Minoke, Minoko? She gotta go, old girl gotta dip. Like I can't allow her to just be sitting around here with giving out power, that's not gonna work. So, hmm, like I don't know if you'll notice this, but I have one card in hand and he's sitting on six. So things aren't working out properly for whatever reason. Like whatever's happening here, I'm not obtaining cards. Like this is ridiculous. He dropped the Nami's added cards, but he hasn't ditched any counters from what it seems and i'm sitting here counterless like maybe i'm using my counters too early or i don't have enough or whatever it may be but my hand is dead like my hand is dead dead and the fact he let zero die off that swing i was like thank you so much like thank you so now i'm able to get some more little card advantage with kuzan which is great but i mean zero dead and then this man let me let me go he didn't attack with anything else he just let me have it right because he brought out his own white beard cool not a problem here's the thing i have since taken white beard out of my deck i find white beard to be so useless him and kuzan for this deck like it is way too much don and i'm not having any chance to do anything else because i'm always on the back foot so it could be the way i'm playing the deck because if you watch right here if you see something i'm doing wrong let me know because clearly i'm doing something wrong but like Whitebeard just not it wasn't gonna work for me. If I play Whitebeard, right? It's not it's not it's not happening properly. Because when I put him on the fit, I'm out of Don. I'm no more I'm Donless. I don't like being Donless. It ain't gonna work. I can't summon anything else, just him. Like that's not it. And then like, I don't know. I don't know. So you see I'm swinging. I took out one of his white beards. So you see I'm swinging for the fences. I am going for it. I am trying to make things happen as best as possible stack up my board because i currently have the life advantage but that doesn't mean anything that that's jack diddley and he's about to use white beard and just ninks me it's like do i save kobe I, I i think i should save i didn't even save kobe i should have saved kobe because kobe was a necessity and now he's about to drop vit no no he did he did the thing bro this guy is this guy's dude oh my gosh i hate him so much like I gotta figure something out. I'm putting all the Don here. I'm like, this white bear gotta go. 14, can he go? He lets him die. Fantastic. I leave one up for Radical Beam. Um, and I'm like, this this, this ain't it. So I can drop Grandma here and then save Radical Beam if he beefs up on Zoro or on Luffy. But I block with, okay, I block with Borsellino for the Nami. Not a problem. And the question, do I save Borsellino? Because if I do save Borsellino, he's gonna use other Nami to attack him. But I, I need him to stay. I can't just, I can't just give him up. So takes him out. I got Zoro. I got a way to attack into his Luffy. But again, I am down bad right now. Like this, this is not good. I need to take out Nami. Nami has to go. Like he can't have characters on the field. But the fact that he's running rush characters obviously caused an issue. And the fact he didn't even run into Zoro. Like he disrespectfully skipped over Zoro right into me. Cause he's like, I got this game. And right there, if he would have attacked Garp, I would have been down bad on life. And he could have just attacked with, oh, he does attack with her. This man about to murder me with Otama. Like, and ain't nothing I can do about it. Like, I'm out here just getting beat up. And ain't nothing I can say about it. Like, why did I even put that many Dawn on Nami to take her out? She has zero call. What was that? Man, I think at this point I gave up. I think, honestly, I was just, I was just like, dang, I I'm some trash. I, I think that's why I felt at this point in time. Deploy him. Put him out. Just put him, just put Grandpa out there. Come on. Mike, just put him out there. I didn't even put him just for whatever defense I'm thinking. 
Oh, unblockable. Right. Oh, right. Diabe Jambe. Ah, I knew he had the Jambe. So he dropped Jambe on me. I'm like, you know what? Damn, son. Damn. Yeah, I don't know. I got to figure it out. I got to figure it out. I think it's me. It ain't the deck. I think it's me. I think I'm just some trash. But do me a solid favor. Subscribe to the channel. Like this video. And if you can, please go home and tell your mommy lover. I appreciate you. See ya.